guys, so today's video is a review of the Funny Butterfly Cat Toy from Zooplus. We got ours for $9.99 and it's an interactive cat toy to stimulate your cat's hunting instincts. Um, this toy is quite, it's quite big, it's got quite a big base on it so if you don't have a lot of space for cat toys that might be something you want to think about. Um, the base is 25 centimetres by 25 centimetres, so it's not huge, but it's not small either. No, it's a good <laughs> size. Yeah. Stable. Yeah, it makes it quite stable. Um, it comes with four different butterflies. I don't know if you can see the one that's on it. Isn't it pretty? And you get two... Oh no, they're tangled. Ugh. You get two of this nice yellowy kind of colour that's shimmery and it shimmers like a green colour in the light. It's really pretty. So you get, oh do you want to play with that one? Of course you want to play with the one that's not attached to the toy. <laughs> so you get two of each colour and the toy takes three AA batteries which are not included. When you turn the, bu the butterfly on it spins around. Well, the base spins around, it's blocked by the box, I'm sorry. <laughs> and here comes Cookie to play. And the wire that the butterfly's attached to kind of vibrates, so it looks like the butterfly's flapping its wings and fluttering around. Let's try and move it away from the box. There we go, it's going around now. And yeah, so that gives the illusion that the butterfly is like flying in a quite a natural way to entice your cats to want to interact and play and hunt the butterfly. <laughs> um, so shall we get into the pros and cons? Sure. So first up, the pros. This toy is really fun for cats and humans. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really fun to watch your cats playing. It's really fun for you to bat it around as well. It's fun. <laughs> They're not bothered because it's like really hot. <laughs> it's, you oh, died out. Got it, yeah. <laughs> They're not too bothered by it today because it's quite warm and they just want to relax and have a sleep, don't you? You're going to fall off. You're going to slide off. <laughs> the next pro is that it's really easy to use. As you can see, when I turned it on, I just pressed this button and that's it. Um, so if you had a really smart cat, you might actually be able to train them to be able to turn it on and off themselves. Yeah. Um, we're also quite lazy, so <laughs> this when this toy is on the floor, it's really easy to just kind of touch the thing with your foot as you're walking past to turn it on or turn it off, which is also quite cool. That is pretty cool. Uh, the batteries in this last ages. Uh, when did we get this? Like summertime last year? Something like that? Something like that, yeah. I think we've had it for about eight months and we've never had to change the batteries and the batteries in it I don't think were brand new. You put them in? Um, they're from a drawer, so... Yeah, so they would probably been used in something already and we've not had to change them yet. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, but we don't... If you toy like this, if you have it on too much, then they're just going to get used to it and just ignore it. Yeah. We're going to get on to that. Mm -hmm. uh, and the last pro is that the butterflies are really well made. This is the second one that we have put on it and we put it on because this was in our cat favourites of 2015 video and we just wanted a pretty new butterfly on it. Now for the cons, um, hopefully the camera's picking this up. It's, it's quite noisy. It's not overly noisy, but because it's supposed to be simulating a butterfly, which is notoriously pretty quiet, it's, uh, it's not very natural. No. Go with that way. Get the cookie. Cookie's in the corner just kind of like basking in the sun. Let me see if I can move this over. There she is. Good Not to care in the world. <laughs> What's that? So the next con is that it's really hard to change the butterfly. We had to like take a flathead screwdriver and stuff to it to pop um, the sort of white base of it. 
if I show you this butterfly. So at the end, it's got this white base that pops in, but to get it out, you need something to pop it out of the actual device. Um, so it's kind of difficult to change, but it's not like you're changing it that often. No, no. Um, yeah. And the last con is that over time the novelty does wear off a bit. Mm. Which isn't so bad because, you know, if you don't use it all the time it's okay. Yeah, like we find that, you know, they'll play for it with a play for it with a while? What? <laughs> play with it for a while and then you kind of put it away for a month or something and you take it back out and it's like, oh new toy. It's not really a new toy. <laughs> but if you were trying to use it like every day or something, the novelty does wear off and they get a bit bored. One of the cons for me is if it went a bit slower, that's not on a level um, surface, so it's not going round like it normally does. Um, when it's on level, it goes pretty quick. The cats seem to like it when it's a little bit slower. That's true. Another con would be that there's no speed settings on it. Yeah, if there was a speed setting, then that would be a lot better. Like. Cause Daisy quite likes this toy, but she likes it when it's not turned on. And she likes to bat it around, similar to what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like bang it over the place and she likes to have a chew. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't like it when it's turned on. No. So if there was a slower speed, then that would be quite good. Yeah. So, Erin, what would you rate this toy out of five stars? Mm. Like a 3.5. 3.5? Um, I'd probably agree actually, maybe, yeah, 3.5 is good for me. Um, it's a really good toy, don't get me wrong, it's really good, obviously it was in our cat favourites video of 2015, it's just, there's a few little things that we'd like to tweak, like if it wasn't as noisy and had speed settings. Yeah. This might be the first generation one, so they might get better over time. That's true. Um, as I say, it does appear to be a Zoo Plus own kind of toy, so this might have just been so, a tester. Yeah, it's really cool and it's really fun. If your cats like hunting and like chasing after things, they're probably going to like this toy, but if they're a fat, lazy cat, they're probably not going to, to be fair. <laughs> um, Another thing to say about this is that this is the sort of toy that you need to supervise your cats with. You shouldn't just like turn it on and go to work and leave them with it because if I turn this off, the actual um, body of the butterfly is plastic so they might chew it off and choke on it or something or they might chew part of it and it becomes sharp and hurt themselves. Similarly, the butterfly is on a piece of wire so if they snapped it obviously that would be sharp and they might hurt themselves so if you do get this you do need to supervise your cats um, with it. Anything else you want to add? Not really, it would be good if it came in variety of colours for the base, um, different speed settings, uh, more butterflies then it would have got a 4 till 5 then. Yeah, talking about the butterfly thing, it would be good if you could buy more butterflies once your butterflies are destroyed. You can't actually buy any replacements. You can just buy the toy with the butterflies, which is also a bit unfortunate. Um, but yeah, so we hope you liked this video. If you did, please feel free to hit the like button. If you want to see more of our reviews and hauls and things like that, then please subscribe. We also have a Facebook page, which I mostly share things on you might be interested in. Lots of contests and videos from other people and things like that. That's all in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye now.